CNN, the most trusted name in news. <laughs> Two former officials knowledgeable of the situation confirmed to CNN the main points of the story. Two former former officials. Tell you what, come out, name those people, then we'll have something to talk about. One, we protect sources. Two, it's not just CNN. It's Washington Post, New York Times, Wall Street Journal, CNN, who? ABC, yeah, but who, NBC. Who are the sources? Carl. Who are the sources? Oh, Carl. Who are the sources? Oh, because they're hiding behind this in anonymity. Oh, and that's what we're seeing. Please, do not even start with me that you're just going to attack sources. Okay, so, that what is about, so are you saying McMaster is lying? I'm not saying McMaster is are lying. You? Well, he didn't really answer the question. He didn't answer he the question. He said nothing inappropriate He said, no, that's his opinion. That would be. But that's his opinion. That, you that's cannot not say, you cannot attack. Yeah. Do not attack the stellar I'm, reporters of CNN. Okay. Attack the stellar I'm, reporters of CNN. Of <laughs> Since you're attacking us, can you give us a question? Go since ahead. you're no, Mr. President elect. Go Mr. ahead. Mr. President elect, since you are attacking no, our news not organization, you. Not can you. you give us a chance? Your organization. You're, you are attacking terrible. our news organization. Your organization. Can you give us a chance Let's to go. ask a question, sir? Go ahead. Sir, can Quiet. you state Quiet. Mr. President elect? Go ahead. Can you state Cassidy? Can you give us a question? Don't be rude. Attacking us. Can you give us a question? Don't be rude. Us. Can you give us a question? Don't be rude. No, I'm not going to give you a question. No, I'm not going to give you a question. I'm not going to give you a question. Can you stay categorical? You are fake news. Three officers dead, three wounded in Baton Rouge, a really tough day for Baton Rouge and for the country, really. Here to talk about how to keep our police safe is Sheriff David Clark of Milwaukee County, Wisconsin. He is going to be speaking at the Republican convention tomorrow night. Sheriff, thank you uh, very much for that horrific day. I spoke to uh, the heads of the Sheriff Department, the Police Department, and uh, the state police down there, and they told us how their hearts were reeling. Their message is peace and coming together in the country. What's your message? <laughs> you don't believe that for one minute, do you? That their message is? Yeah. Uh, that's what they said to me. Okay. Yeah, I believe them. Of Any protests them over that. the deaths of these cops today in Baton Rouge? I don't know that. I don't know that. Any riots or protests over the uh, uh, police officers in Dallas, Texas? What are you asking? It's a pretty simple question. I asked you if what's your message to the people, their message is one of peace. What is your message? My message has been clear from day one two years ago. This anti-cop sentiment from this hateful ideology called Black Lives Matter has fueled this rage against the American police officer. I predicted this two years ago. So what I, what I, what I want to know, sure? know, okay, sure. do I want to know? With all due respect, do you know that this was because of that? Do we yes, I do. As a law enforcement officer? I've been watching this for two years. I predicted this. Yeah. This anti-police rhetoric sweeping the country yeah. has turned out some hateful things inside of people that are now playing themselves out on the American police officer. I want to know, with all of the black-on-black -black violence in the United States of America, by the way, when the tragedies happen in Louisiana and Minnesota, you know that 21 black people were murdered across the United States? Well, the, well, there was was there black, any reporting there on that? There was a black officer who was killed today. But let, let's, was let's, there any reporting on Sheriff, that? Sheriff, please, let's just, keep, let's just keep the volume down here. So I understand. And, I, and listen, I don't I got, dis I'm I don't looking at disagree. three dead cops uh, this week, Sheriff, and I'm looking at just, five last please. year. Are you trying to tell me to keep it down? Just please. If you will just please. We can keep it civil. So because we admit the message to people at home, I'm sure admit the message to people at home, I'm sure admit the message to people at home, I'm sure you want is one of civility. I wish, Don, I, want, I wish I you like had that have, message of like civility to have a conversation toward with this you. hateful ideology, these I, purveyors of hate. I don't what my message is. That's what, what I want to say do. to you is these wait, people let me preach get a, are you vile get a word and in? virtue we'll be right in the back. name We're of gonna go to break, hate. And we'll be right back. All I want to do is have a conversation. I can't have a conversation with you if we're both talking at the same time. Would Let me ask you this. Do we know that, the, that generally the American law enforcement officers are racist? Do we know this?
Ask a is question. That, is that a is that do I know a member? Is that do I know a member? Is that do I know a member? <laughs> Start all kinds of speculation. This would be funny if it weren't so serious. This would be funny if it weren't so serious. This would be funny if it weren't so serious. Of all the people Hannity could have had fill in for him, he went with the president's lawyers, gave them three hours to laugh it up and defend the president. And that is really revealing. It reveals us to us how the pro-Trump media world works hand in hand with Trump. It is a collaboration that helps Trump, but hurts the public. Why? because Trump's defenders are drawing attention away from what matters most, Russia's efforts to attack America back then and happening again now. The entire probe is an illegal plot to overturn the election. Millions of people believe this stuff. The president apparently believes this stuff. He's always using the word illegal and rigged witch hunt. Now Trump has promoted Jarrett's book not once, not twice, but three times on Twitter. And that is how it works. It's like a house of mirrors, where you're seeing the same thing over and over and over again, except it's distorted. Keep talking and talking and talking so much that they are, for now, driving the news narrative about Mueller's probe. Meanwhile, Mueller's team is only speaking through court filings. And remember, the special counsel was ordered to investigate Russia's actions and any links and or coordination with anyone in the Trump campaign's orbit. The word collusion never even appears in the document. This has never been about collusion. It's about coordination, conspiracy, Russia's attempts to divide Americans. GOP Senator Ben Sass called out what he said is the, the Trump-centric framing the other day. He said the press... If I may, I have to ask about this. Since you started the whole wrestling video thing, what are your thoughts about what has happened since then? I mean, CNN went after you and has threatened to expose the identity of a person they said was responsible for it. I'd like your thoughts. Yeah, I think what CNN did was uh, unfortunate for them. As you know, now they had some pretty serious problems. Uh, they have been fake news for a long time. They've been covering me in a very, uh, very dishonest way. Do you have that also, by the way, Mr. President? But CNN and, and others, I mean, not others, NBC is equally as bad, uh, despite the fact that I made them a fortune with the apprentice, but they forgot that. But I will say that uh, CNN has really uh, taken it too seriously, and I think they've hurt themselves very badly, very, very badly. And what we want to see in the United States is honest, beautiful, free, but honest press. We want to see fair press. I think it's a very important thing. We don't want fake news. And by the way, not everybody is fake news. But we don't want fake news. Bad thing. Very bad for our country. This is an apple. Some people might try to tell you that it's a banana. They might scream banana, banana, banana over and over and over again. They might put banana in all caps. You might even start to believe that this is a banana. But it's not. This is an apple.